the great God is going to visit us mightily tonight in the name of Jesus. Don't forget, this is the hour of solution, a prayer-based program. There is solution for you tonight in the name of Jesus. Are you troubled? Be rest assured that this night, there is solution for you in the name of Jesus. Is there trouble anywhere? Is there oppression anywhere? Is there sickness anywhere? Don't forget, this is the hour of solution. And solution is coming your way in the name of Jesus. It's going to be a very powerful night. It's going to be a night of prayers. It's going to be a night of divine visitation. And I want to encourage you, rest on God tonight. Rely on God tonight. Whatever is your situation at this time, are you confused? Are you weeping? Are you troubled? Are you sick? Are you oppressed? Don't forget, there is solution coming your way tonight. God is still interested in your affairs. And this night, the Lord is going to touch you. The Lord is going to heal you. The Lord is going to answer your prayers. This night, the Lord is going to make a way for you. That rest sea before you, and that has made you fearful. During this hour of solution, every red sea is going to part before you. Are you experiencing troubles in your marriage, and your home is hot? This night, the Lord will calm every storm in that marriage in the name of Jesus. And wherever you are watching this live program, I welcome every viewer to the presence of the Lord. This is the hour of solution, a prayer-based program. We must continue to pray. Prayer is the secret in solving any problem. Prayer is the secret of every problem. Prayer is the solution to every problem. And this night, as we come before the presence of God, as we hear the word of the Lord, as the Lord speaks to us, and as we get into the time of prayers and pray, the power of God will come down mightily in the name of Jesus. Once again, we are all welcome to the hour of solution. And the Lord is going to visit us mightily tonight in the name of Jesus. I want you to be hopeful tonight. With God, all things are possible. There is no impossibility before this great God. With God, all things are possible. No matter what you are passing through at this time, no matter the wall of Jericho staring at you at this time, and it appears as if the situation is hopeless, and it appears as if there is no way out, with God, all things are possible. And this night, during this hour of solution, the Lord is going to visit us mightily. Remember, He's a powerful God. Remember, He's a mighty God. Remember, He can do all things. And this night, you are going to experience the power of God. You are going to experience the power of resurrection in the name of Jesus. You are wonderful. You are mighty, oh God. You are wonderful, Lord. You are mighty, oh God. You are wonderful. You are mighty. Mighty 
you for another privilege of coming before your presence. Thank you for the great things you have been doing through this program, the Hour of Solution. Thank you for your mighty manifestations. Thank you for the move of your power. Thank you for the move of the Spirit of the Lord. Thank you for those you have delivered through this program. Thank you for the great testimonies we've been receiving. Thank you for all that you have done, for the sick that you have healed, for the oppressed that you have delivered, for men and women that you have answered their prayers through this program, the Hour of Solution. Father, once again, we are before your presence. In your presence, there is power. In your presence, there is deliverance. In your presence, there is peace. In your presence, there is solution. I therefore pray that tonight, you will come down mightily in the name of Jesus. You will come down with your power. You will come down in your glory. You will deliver during this program. You will heal the sick during this program. You will open every prison doors during this program. As many that are connected with us for this life program, for this prayer-based program, the hour of solution. Lord, I pray your power will reach out to them. Your glory will reach out to them. Tonight, as men call upon you, as men look up to their maker, I pray that tonight, where there is trouble, your power will come down. Where there is sickness, your healing will come down. Where there is captivity, where there is oppression, during this hour of solution, you will set free the captive. You will deliver the oppressed in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that tonight, let there be diverse miracles. Let there be answers to prayers. Let there be signs and wonders. Lord, I pray that your hand that is strong and mighty, your arm that is strong and mighty, will touch every viewer tonight in the name of Jesus. Lord, with you all things are possible. With you all things are possible. I pray that tonight, during this program, every impossibility before your people, before your creatures, before the work of your hands, I pray that, oh God, you will turn every impossibility to become possible in the name of Jesus. 
The Bible said that the Lord has given me the tongue of the learned, that I should know how to speak a word in season to him that is weary. I pray that tonight, O oh God, your utterance will be released. Your word will be released. The word of power, the word of hope, the word of authority, the word of unction will be released in the name of Jesus. The Bible said that he sent forth his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction. As your word is being sent forth tonight, through this program and through your servant, I pray that, oh God, you will heal, you will deliver, you will rescue, you will redeem your people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you have answered. For in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Once again, we are welcome to this powerful night. We are all welcome to this powerful night. The hour of solution. And no doubt, with God, all things are possible. No doubt, we are serving a mighty God. We are serving a powerful God. No doubt, there is nothing too hard for God to do. And that's why he asked that question. He said, is there anything too hard for me to do? There is nothing, absolutely nothing. There is nothing too hard for God to do. He can heal. He can deliver. He can break those shackles. He can destroy those fetters. Those wombs that are dead. The Lord can revive it. And the Lord will revive it tonight. Don't forget... This is the hour of solution. And solution is coming your way tonight in the name of Jesus. We are before the presence of the Lord. We are before the mighty God. And through this program and during this program, I want to assure all our viewers around the globe that are connected to this program, with God, all things are possible. And as you pray tonight, have great expectation. The Lord is going to visit you tonight in the name of Jesus. Whatever is the troubles you are passing through, whatever is the fire that is burning at this time, whatever is the confusion you are experiencing at this time, remember, with God, all things are possible. This is the hour of solution. And therefore, there is solution for everyone tonight in the name of Jesus. Those that are sick and you are watching us at this time, this night is a night of signs and wonders. It's a night of miracles. And the Lord will touch you. Whatever is in illness, whatever is in sickness, whatever is, the, is, is, is troubling you at this time, this night, the Lord is going to touch you in the name of Jesus. Are you troubled? I want you to rest on God tonight. With God, all things are possible. Those things that are troubling your life, troubling your family, troubling your peace, there is our solution. The mighty God is going to visit us mightily in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I will be speaking to us on the topic let God arise. Let God arise. And you need God to arise in, your, in that your situation. You need God to arise in that your trouble. You need God to arise in that life challenges. And tonight, the mighty God, the great God, the God that can do all things, we arise in his power, in his fullness, tonight in the name of Jesus. Once again, don't forget, I'll be speaking to us tonight on the topic, let God arise. And I'm certain tonight, God is going to arise tonight. You are going to see him arising. You are going to see God in his fullness, in his power, arising on your behalf tonight in the name of Jesus. Our text is taken from the book of Psalm. The book of Psalm. The book of Psalm, chapter 68, verse 1. Psalm, chapter 68, verse 1. 
Don't forget, I'm speaking to us tonight on the topic, Let God Arise. And this night, you are going to see God arising. You are going to see God arising in that your situation. You are going to see God arising for you tonight in the name of Jesus. Don't forget, this is the hour of solution. And God will arise tonight in the name of Jesus. Psalm 68 verse 1. Let God arise. That's a powerful prayer. That's a powerful praying. Let God arise. Are you troubled? Let God arise. Are you overwhelmed by the enemy? Are you sick? Let God arise. Are you under captivity of any nature? Let God arise. Is there trouble anywhere? Is there difficulty anywhere? Is the principalities and powers making trouble? Let God arise. And that's a powerful prayer you are going to pray tonight. Nobody has ever prayed this prayer without, without God arising. Let God arise. Let God arise. Anna prayed that prayer and God showed up for her. Jabez prayed that prayer, and God answered him. Jacob, with all the troubles surrounding his life, Jacob, with all the sorrow surrounding his life, a time came, he prayed this particular prayer, let God arise, and this night, God is going to arise for you. Are you in a dying situation, and you are bedridden? And they are just counting days for you. I want to tell you tonight, I want to proclaim upon you tonight, God will arise for you tonight. And every sentence of death over your life will be cancelled in the name of Jesus. Let God arise and get ready to pray that prayer. Get ready to pray that prayer. Don't forget I'm speaking to us tonight on the topic. Let God arise. And God is going to arise in the midst of that your battle. In the midst of that raging battle in your life, God is going to arise tonight in the name of Jesus. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Hallelujah. This night, this night, there will be confusion in the camp of the enemy. Yes. There will be confusion. Because the Bible says, let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Every enemy that is holding you hostage, any enemy that is refusing you from, from being free, this night as the Lord arise, as the power of God arise, as the power of God arise, every enemy will be scattered enemy in the village will be scattered. Principalities and powers will be scattered. Powers of darkness will be scattered. Because the Bible says, let God arise. Let his enemy be scattered. And get ready. Because God is going to touch you tonight. God is going to arise tonight. And you are going to experience the power of God in the name of Jesus. There is always a wonderful and powerful manifestation. When God arrives, when God arrives, great things happen. When God arrives, there is miracle. When God arrives, there is solution. And this night, the Lord is going to arise on your behalf. Let God arise. No wonder David cried out and earnestly prayed, let God arise. He experienced God's power. He experienced divine help and divine intervention. And this night is your turn. As you pray that prayer, in that difficult situation, that man that you are there, you are in a very difficult situation, and it appears impossible 
that you are not going to come out of that situation. I want to assure you tonight, by the word of the Lord, the Lord is going to arise for you tonight. The arm of the Lord is going to pull you out of that situation. He's going to deliver you from that situation in the name of Jesus. This night is a night of God arising. It's a night of power. It's a night of prayers. David prayed that prayer. It came in the life of David. There were challenges in his life. There were troubles in his life. And he prayed that prayer. He cried out from the depth of his heart. Let God arise. Let God arise. And let his enemies be scattered. And God answered, pray, uh, answered David. And God gave David solution. This night, God will give you solution in the name of Jesus. I said God will give you solution in the name of Jesus. When God arises, what will happen? When God arises, what will be the outcome? When God arises, the enemies are scattered and defeated. Yes. You face with diverse enemies. Enemies to your left. Enemies to your right. When God arises, when God arises, when God arise, when God arise, the enemies are scattered and defeated. And tonight, every enemy will be defeated in the name of Jesus. I say tonight, every enemy will be defeated in the name of Jesus. When God arise, prison doors are opened. Yes. When God arise, prison doors are opened. Are you under any spiritual imprisonment? Are you under any spiritual uh, padlock? Are you under, you know, are you under any, you know, any, you know, any prison of the enemy? Remember, when God arises, prison doors are open. And tonight, every prison door of the enemy, where your glory has been locked up, where your health has been locked up, where your life has been locked up, where God's blessings for your life has been locked up. This night, by the power of the Lord, every prison doors will be opened in the name of Jesus. When God arises, kingdoms, altars, principalities and powers, trembles and bow before him. And tonight, every principalities and powers, every powers of the enemy, every shrine, every kingdom, manifesting against you this night as God arise during this hour of solution every kingdom every altar every shrine every coven will tremble and bow before God tonight in the name of Jesus when God arise he turns story to glory yes and that's what is going to happen to you tonight every story story upon story story of poverty story of ridicule story of reproach in your life when god arises he turns your story to glory when god arises he takes over the battles of your life are you going through any battle battles from the enemy battles from the from pharaoh battles from the egyptians are you passing through any battle battles in the night battles in the day battles of oppression when God arises, He takes over the battles of your life. And whatever is the battle you are passing through at this time, the Lord is going to take over tonight in the name of Jesus. Wonderful. When God arises, confusion and commotion sends the enemy into disarray. Wonderful. And that's what is going to happen tonight. You see, God is real. God is real. When God arises, Confusion and commotion sends the enemy into disarray. And this night, every enemy will be sent into will be sent into disarray in Jesus' name. There will be confusion in the camp of the enemy. The enemy is going to run heter scatter. Because the Bible says, and the Lord thundered in that day with a great thunder against the camp of the Philistines. And that's what is going to happen tonight. That reminds me what happened many years ago. That will tell you 
God is not a fiction. God is real. And Christianity is not religion. Christianity is power. I've told us, when God arrives, confusion and commotion sends the enemy into disarray. And tonight, all your enemies will be sent into disarray in the name of Jesus. Like as I was saying, what happened years back? A day came, some people that thought they have dark powers. And they came out in the open. They were disturbing us. And we are having a particular program on that day. And there was a, a, a procession, a procession of evil men, evil women, during the day. And we felt that that's an insult. The servant of God felt that that's an insult. How can these people, we are having a program, a spiritual program, and there is procession, people that believe in the powers of wickedness. And we prayed prayers. And we told God, let God arise. I'm telling you something that practically happened. As we pray that prayer, let God arise. We release a spiritual arrow. We release a spiritual weapon. Before you know it, there was confusion in the camp of the enemy. That procession scattered. All those men and women given to dark powers. Before you know it, they had a, a heavenly noise. They had a, a, a heavenly confusion. Before you know it, they scattered and disappeared. And we went ahead with our program. And that's why I'm saying tonight, when God arrives, there is confusion and commotion in the camp of the enemy. And this night, the Lord is sending confusion. The Lord is sending commotion into the camp of your enemy in the name of Jesus. Don't forget, I'm speaking to us on the topic, let God arise. And God will arise tonight. He will arise to def defend you. He will arise to deliver you. He will arise to help you. He will arise to give you divine help in the name of Jesus. What happened when God arise? When God arise, chains, fetters of captivity are broken. And that's what will happen tonight. And there are fetters of captivity over your business, over your destiny, over your family. Are there chains of captivity, shackles of captivity? Are there spiritual bars all around you and you cannot make progress? You cannot advance in life. This night, the chains of captivity, the fetters of captivity will be broken in the name of Jesus. When God arrives, death is swallowed up in victory. Are you being threatened by death? You feel you are going to die as a result of that sickness. This night, the Lord is going to arise. And every sentence of death, every sign of death will be swallowed up in victory in the name of Jesus. When God arrives, the prisoners and captives are set free. Hallelujah. And tonight, there is freedom for the captive. Are you under any captivity? Are you under any satanic captivity? Captivity to the enemy. When God arrives, the prisoners and the captives are are set free. When God arrives, sickness is healed. And get ready tonight. The Lord is going to heal you. The power of the Lord is going to touch you. The Bible said that, and he healed them all. This night, the Lord is going to heal you. No matter the sickness, no matter, no matter the ailment, no matter the illness, this night, the Lord is going to arise and he's going to heal you in the name of Jesus. When God arrives, he breaks every spell cause, evil covenant, and every wicked enchantment. And that's what is going to happen tonight. Is the enchantment over your life. And somebody has made an enchantment over your life. And somebody has placed a cause over the work of your hands. And there's no fruitfulness in the work of your hands. Tonight, every cause will be broken. Every spell will be destroyed. Every evil enchantment will catch fire in the name of Jesus. What happened when God arrives? When God arrives, barrenness come to an end. Expectant mothers, get ready tonight. Barrenness is coming to an end in the name of Jesus. 20 years barrenness, 15 years barrenness, 10 years barrenness, 5 years barrenness, get ready tonight because God will arise and every barrenness will come to an end in the name of Jesus. When God arrives, divine help and intervention manifests. This night, you are going to receive divine help. 
There's going to be divine intervention in that your life challenges in the name of Jesus. When God arise, the irreversible is reversed. Yes. And tonight, every cause placed over your life will be reversed. Every limitation placed over your life will be reversed. That thing that, is, that you felt is, is irreversible. When God arises this night, every irreversible situation, irreversible pronouncement, irreversible sentence will be reversed in the name of Jesus. When God arises, the victim becomes the victor. I say when God arises, the victim becomes the victor. And tonight, you will become the victor in the name of Jesus. Get ready. All those that are victims to, to, to the enemy, victims to life challenges, victims to the powers of darkness, victim to oppression, victim to sleeplessness, victim to evil covenant. When God arises, the victim becomes the victor. And tonight, because God is going to arise, very soon we are going to start praying. The Lord will arise, every victim, victim to the enemy, victim to, to, to powers of darkness, and they are sitting on you, and they are just pushing your life anyhow, and they are in control of your life, and you are a victim, you are a prey to their hands, and in their hands, when God arises, every victim will become the victor in the name of Jesus. When God arises, yokes are broken. The works of the devil is destroyed. And tonight, the Bible says, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. And when God arises this night, every works of the devil, every yokes of the enemy, every activities of the wicked one is destroyed in the name of Jesus. When God arises, raging sea, raging sea and storms against your life becomes calm. Is there burning fire anywhere? Is there trouble in your home now? Trouble in your business? Trouble in your health? This night, there will be calm to those storms in the name of Jesus. When God arises, the oppressed are delivered. Is anyone oppressed here? Oppressed by the enemy? Oppressed by the wicked war? Oppressed by life? Oppressed by Goliath? Oppressed by Elmas the sorcerer. This night, when God arrives, the oppressed are delivered. When God arrives, he, the conquered becomes the conqueror. Hallelujah. This night, everyone that is conquered, the enemy has conquered you. And the enemy has told you physically, I have put you under chains. I have conquered you. I have conquered your family. Nothing will happen in your life. It's a lie. Because this night, when God arises in his power, when God arises in his glory, when God arises in the fullness of his power, when God arises in his majesty, the conquered becomes the conqueror. Tell yourself, I will become the conqueror tonight. Yes. I say, speak to yourself because life and death is in the power of the tongue. Mention your name and tell yourself, I will become the conqueror tonight. And this night, be rest assured, you will become the conqueror over the enemy, over those challenges, over those things that you are, you, you are a victim to in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When God arrives, impossibility becomes possible. And tonight, every impossibility in your life will become possible in the name of Jesus. The things that appears impossible to achieve, that deliverance that appears impossible, that freedom that appears impossible, that open door that appears impossible, that conception that appears impossible, that barrenness that appears impossible to, to be destroyed. This night, when God arrives, every impossibility becomes possible. And I want to assure you tonight, this night is a night of impossibilities. Whatever is termed impossibility in your life. Because God is going to arise this night in his power, in his glory, in his beauty, in the fullness of his might. Every impossibility in your life 
impossibility in your family, impossibility in your health, impossibility in the life of your husband, impossibility in your family, impossibility in that place of business, impossibility in that place of, of work. When God arises tonight, every impossibility becomes possible. When God arises, he is victorious in battle. And this night, God is going to arise. God is going to arise. Very soon we are going to pray. And I want you to really pray that, pray that powerful prayer. David prayed it. He cried out in Psalm 68 verse 1, where we have read, Let God arise. Let God arise. David prayed that prayer. He prayed that prayer out of the depth of his troubles. Out of his troubled life, troubled heart, troubled environment, troubled situation, when the enemy was, was raging against him, when the enemy has vowed to destroy his life, when the enemy was approaching, when the enemy was about in destroying his life, David prayed earnestly, let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Ezekiah prayed that prayer when a sentence of death was pronounced over his life. Even though that sentence was a divine sentence, he cried out, Let God arise. And God arise and healed him and added more years to his age. Is there trouble anywhere? It's time to call upon the Lord. It's time to tell God to arise. When you don't tell God to arise, then he will not arise. But if you can call upon God tonight, during this hour of solution, and say, God, look at my troubles. Look at the sickness. Look at the situation. Look at the enemy. Look at the captivity. Look at the powers of darkness intimidating my life. Look at the troubles. Look at the, look at the pains. Look at the sleepless night. Oh, God, arise. Oh, God, arise. And when God arises tonight in his power, every possibility becomes possible. When God arises tonight, when God arises tonight, those closed doors, those closed doors that the devil has closed by his bewitchment, that the enemy has closed by their wicked pronouncement and enchantment, when God arises this night, Closed doors will be opened in the name of Jesus. And I can assure you tonight, by the word of the Lord, by the word of the Lord, this night the Lord will arise. The Lord will arise and discomfit your enemy in the name of Jesus. It's time to pray that prayer. Anywhere you are now, it's time to pray that prayer. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Let God arise. Let God arise. Cry out to God. Let God arise. Oh God, that is trouble. Let God arise. Oh God, look at my situation. Let God arise. Let God arise. Is there the enemy troubling you? Is there the wicked one troubling you? The Bible says, let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Pray tonight. Pray tonight, let God arise. Let the power of God arise tonight. There is healing tonight when God arise. There is deliverance tonight when God arise. The prison doors will be opened tonight when God arise. There is healing for the sick tonight when God arise. It's time to pray. David prayed, let God arise. What is your situation? What is that overwhelming situation? It's time to pray. Let God arise. This is the hour of solution. It's a prayer-based program. It's a praying program. We pray in this program. We call upon God in this program. It's time to pray, let God arise. God is willing to hear you tonight. God is willing to hear you tonight. Let God arise. Make sure you are praying, let God arise. He's strong and mighty to deliver you. Let God arise. You said you are sick. You said you are dying. Call upon God. When God arise, death is swallowed up in victory. Call upon God tonight. Let God arise. Let God arise. In the midst of that joblessness, let God arise. In the midst of that captivity, let God arise. Let God arise, call upon God. When God arises, your womb is opened. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let the yoke of barrenness be broken tonight. Call upon God. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. Call upon the Lord. Let God arise. 
Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. When God arise, there is confusion in the camp of your enemy. When God arise, when God arise, there is when God arise, there is fire in the kingdom of darkness. Call upon God tonight. Is your life under oppression? Call upon God, let God arise. Is your life under oppression? Call upon God, let God arise. This night, let God arise. Let the power of God arise. God is victorious in battle. Are you passing through any battle? Battles from the enemy, battles from wicked people, battles from principalities and powers. Call upon God tonight. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. That's your prayer tonight. Let God arise. 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 Pray that prayer. The Lord will arise tonight. The Lord will arise to open the prison doors. The Lord will arise to set you free. The Lord will arise to turn your story to glory. The Lord will arise to take over the battles of your life. The Lord will arise to break your chains, to break the fetters of captivity, family captivity, captivity over your marriage, captivity over your life, captivity over your destiny. Pray tonight, let God arise. Let God arise. Let God arise. The chains have been broken. Let God arise. The fetters have been destroyed. Let God arise. Let God arise. The Bible says, and the Lord thundered with a great thunder on that day against the Philistines. Let God arise. Let every shrine of wickedness to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Yes. Let God arise. Let God arise. Every kingdom policing your life. Every kingdom monitoring your life. Every kingdom holding your life in captivity. Every kingdom releasing demonic enchantment against you. Let God arise. Let God arise. And let that be a thunder in the camp of the enemy. Pray tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let God arise. Let God arise. The Bible says, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. And it's time the wickedness of the wicked comes to an end. It's time the oppression of the wicked comes to an end. And that's why you are going to pray once again. Oh God, let God arise. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end in my life. Yes. Let God arise. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Let God arise. Let God arise. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. It's time to pray. This is the hour of solution. This is the hour of solution. The Bible said that they that do know their God shall be strong and shall do exploit. And tonight we are dealing on let God arise. When God arise, the prison door is open. When God arise, there is confusion in the kingdom of darkness. When God arise, barrenness comes to an end in your life. When God arise, when God arise, the life of struggling comes to an end. When God arise, the wickedness of the wicked comes to an end. Pray tonight. Let God arise. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. The evil enchantment, the evil pronouncement, the evil spell, the evil cause, the evil covenant reigning over your life, dominating your life. Let God arise. Let God arise. Pray that prayer. He said, Powerful prayer. It's a powerful prayer. Let God arise tonight. Pray. Let God arise. Let God arise. This is the hour solution. It's time to pray. It's time to pray. Let God arise in my situation. Let God arise. Have you been struggling? Have you been struggling? Your life is a life of ridicule. Obstacles here and there. When God arise, miracle comes into your life. Pray tonight. Let God arise. Let the power of God arise. Let the fullness of God arise. Let the anointing that breaks every yoke.